Thank you, Dr. McLeod. Uh, so I do have a financial interest in OCT technology with uh, regard to Aptoview. So I'd like to start by saying that uh, corneal anterior topography is not uh, uh, always sufficient to detect early keratoconus. Uh, it, it, an example is shown here on the left. You can see uh, this case of form fruits keratoconus which is the fellow eye of a highly asymmetric keratoconus, has minimal topographic um, distortion that would not uh, usually be considered as uh, diagnostic of keratoconus, whereas uh, other conditions such as contact lens-related uh, corneal warpage can show uh, significant inferior steep steepening that uh, might falsely uh, uh, make you diagnose this as keratoconus. So this is where uh, corneal tomography comes in as to provide additional diagnostic uh, information. Um, shine flu cameras don't have sufficient uh, resolution to measure epithelial thickness. Uh, ultrasound and OCT do, and uh, OCT uh, has a distinction for being the only non-contact imaging technology that can map the corneal thick, uh, epithelial thickness. So with uh, current OCT technology, you can uh, image the cornea with high resolution and with automated uh, segmentation, uh, the system can map uh, pet chemistry and uh, epithelium thickness. Uh, and the current uh, uh, commercial system state of the art is to provide a nine millimeter uh, corneal map. And uh, these systems can provide uh, numerical parameters that help with uh, diagnosis uh, based on both the uh, pet chemistry map and the epithelial thickness map. I'll go over uh, the, the most important ones that I use in a cookbook recipe to uh, help me screen for uh, early keratoconus. So these include uh, uh, minimum pet chemistry uh, if it's less than 515, then there's a possibility of uh, early keratoconus. Uh, if the minimum minus maximum is less than minus 71 microns in the chemistry map, uh, there's uh, sufficient focal thinning uh, to merit suspicion. And if there's asymmetry in the chemistry map, uh, supernasal minus infratemporal sector difference of more than 28 micron. Again, there's suspicion. And if there's irregular epithelial thickness with standard deviation of more than 1.7 micron, that also uh, make it possible to have keratoconus. And so if any of these four parameters exceeds the cutoff listed above, I would check the MAC pattern. So uh, our uh, diagnostic system also include uh, human inspection of the, uh, the map patterns. And the patterns to look for in keratoconus is uh, one, concentric thinning, and two, coincident thinning. So by concentric thinning, I mean by looking at the epithelial thickness map and find that there is a um, central area thinning surrounded by rings. Uh, with at least two color transition. Two color transition is significant. And then you look at the uh, pet chemistry map and look for uh, focal thinning at the same place uh, with a minimum either at the same sector or adjacent sector. Uh, and with these two signs, you can accurately diagnose keratoconus. We tested this out with uh, a clinical study at KCI Institute. Uh, with a moderate group, and we, we found that uh, this provides 100% specificity and detects almost all keratoconus, including uh, all 12 cases of subclinical keratoconus that are topographically abnormal but uh, sees 2020 or better. And it detects most form fruits keratoconus, 74%, uh, as defined by the fellow eye of uh, that, that's topographically 
normal but has a fellow eye with keratoconus. So let's come back to a distinguishing form fruits keratoconus from contact lens related corneal warpage. In ectatic disease, you we find that uh, the uh, epithelium is thin at the place of focal steepening. So this is secondary epithelial modulation in response to um, topographic change. In contact lens uh, warpage or dry eye or EBMD, you will find that uh, the topographic thickening is caused by focal epithelial th thickening. So this is primary epithelial uh, change. So since the epithelial patterns are opposite, it is uh, easy to distinguish these two types of conditions. There are uh, several FDA clear OCT systems that provide corneal epithelial mapping. Um, so it's uh, available for you to use. So in summary, I believe uh, OCT, uh, pachymetric, and the epithelial thickness map provide important additional information uh, in addition to topography, of course, for diagnosing uh, subclinical and firm fruits keratoconus. Uh, and I believe this technology uh, should be used. I, I'd like to acknowledge uh, grant support and uh, our research group, the Center for Ophthalmic Optics and Lasers. Uh, and if you have a chance, check our website for additional information. Thank you.